Well, we've been struggling to get into spring. It snowed the other day. It's only been in the 30s. We had uh, one week of pretty nice weather. Jumped into uh, barely the 60s. A couple days. Able to uh, clean up the yard. And Price of scrap is still really low, but I guess in some parts of the country it's uh, slowly going up. But uh, finally just got sick of all the scrap sitting everywhere. I had it. I had stuff everywhere. I had this trailer jam packed. And then I had stuff sitting over here. I had fridges, stoves, appliances sitting everywhere. But get to that point where you got all that and then you take the truck and then you start picking up more stuff. I found a couple of roads that uh, people actually put stuff out that uh, doesn't really happen up here too much. But yeah, once the truck was full. I had an old uh, ice machine from a restaurant and uh, a couple of front loader, washer and dryer, really heavy. And uh, I said, you know what, it's time to just get rid of all this shit. Dooley's out. I had it out for one day. And then it snowed that night. <laughs> but at least I kept it off the road in the winter. I even got a sticker on it the other day. myself this new toy make my life a lot easier harbor freight if, uh, if you're up in Canada you don't know what harbor freight is it's uh, kind of like uh, princess auto you know Canadian tire kind of put together but Cheap tools, but uh, the earthquake half inch impact. Watched a lot of reviews and videos on it. I got it on sale. Uh, I actually had a went on and got a coupon for it. I ended up getting it for like two hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, and been doing all kinds of stuff with it so far. Old Turbo 400's gone. It's off getting rebuilt. With my, uh, trusty new earthquake gun it took me about an hour on the ground here drop this tranny out it's pretty rust free under here so everything uh, comes off pretty easy this cross member here it's uh, it's only got one bolt on each side and then uh, your tranny mount in the middle very easy. Put the jack under it. Of course, you fight with that long ass dry shaft. But <clears throat> tranny lines came right out easy. <clears throat> Hardest part was uh, the way this exhaust kind of crosses over. But I was going to take it off, but. I didn't really want a chance having to uh, 
tackle a whole exhaust job right now. <clears throat> this is like a like a heat shield it goes over the pipe to protect it because it's a camper. It goes all the way. But drop that cross member dry shaft shifter linkage speedometer cable. Pull this uh, dipstick tube out, a couple lines, and a vacuum line, and then of course your uh, bell housing bolts, six of those, torque converter bolts, three of those, and that was very easy. It's, uh, I just turned it by hand until I saw them, and the, uh, the impact actually fit right in by the oil filter. And uh, just ripped them right out, nice and fast, nice and easy. No air compressor running the whole time, and lots of power. But uh, when I went to pull it back, you know, it kind of obviously got stuck sitting on this exhaust here, but kind of worked out too because it kind of held it. And then I just uh, had the floor jack under it. Yeah, just let her drop right down. Put it on that dolly over there. And then uh, it's off and hopefully the guy has time to uh, get on it and get it all rebuilt. He's already, uh, I found the special guy that's, uh, that does the old school transmissions. So he's the guy up here. And uh, he's going to get her all fixed up. I did uh, have some video of when I dropped it out. But for some reason, I lost it all. I don't know what happened to the clips. But they weren't on there. My other camera. So. But hopefully we get her back soon. And... Oh, I was looking for that pry bar. Forgot I left it in there. So as you can see, you come up in here and you take off this this uh, doghouse here. It covers the engine. and yeah, You just reach right there. Get those top bell housing bolts, no problem. Nice and easy. The, uh, these are that's it that's all the bolts right there that I took out not a lot that holds that in hey you can see when I got it it had uh had these smog tubes, you know, uh, when they were trying to figure out emissions, 1985, they uh, had two smog pumps on this motor, two separate ones with two separate belts, and then they had these tubes that come up from the manifolds and cross over and go into all these wacky valves and tubes and trying to reduce emissions. Because uh, on the RV, like you've seen under there, it does not come with cats. They didn't have cats on these because you need all that breathing power. But they tried to capture a little bit of that smog, if you would, coming off the old 350. But uh, those tubes are very thin metal after time. They, they rot out and they leak like crazy, so... Did one side at a time, sort of, uh, did the best I could. Shoved some bolts in there, tapped them in, and then welded it right around. So it's, it's pretty quiet, you know, there is a small little tick. Um, and actually one of, the, one of the flanges down there that hooks to the exhaust on that side. It's 
kind of all wonked up, so <clears throat> that's, uh, that's leaking too, but it's, uh, drivable, usable, you know, but, uh, the plan is rip all these, uh, shitty manifolds off in the future, and, uh, <clears throat> put some long tube headers on it, and, uh, some different exhausts and stuff, but seems like, uh, over the years I've had it, every time I go to do something like that, it's always time to go camping and just have fun, so you really don't care, you just drive it, and, uh, like to uh, change the intake manifold too down the road and get a regular get rid of all the vacuum lines and all the crap because when I put that Edelbrock on I had to plug off a lot of vacuum lines and a lot of stuff so but runs pretty good and hopefully get that transmission back soon and uh, make some video getting it back in there. Do it by myself. Hopefully, it goes in as quick as it came out. Bad day out. Found this uh, cord of uh, valve spar stain, deck stain or something. Smell it. Smell the cedar. Cedar natural tone. Yeah, I just uh, figured I'd slap it on. I never did anything. Uh, this wood when I bought it just threw it on and it was starting to uh, kind of turn white I'm liking it so far might take a couple coats not sure if I'll have enough but Got to put that American honey on there, slapping it on. Here's my update for now. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, how's everyone doing with all this crazy shit that's going on in the world? Uh, tell me what you think about it. Or don't. I don't know. Well, hope you're getting through it the best you can, and uh, keep your head up. Might see you on the streets.